Ever since Bellroy has introduced this product, you see this backpack everywhere. They advertise it as a great backpack for laptops and for college. But is it really? We're about to find out. I'm Aaron Radcliffe with Nomads Nation. And today, we're doing an epic Bellroy Classic backpack review. All of our reviews are broken up into different sections so you can find the part that interests you the most. Maybe you want to learn about the materials or you want to learn about the comfort. Go check it out. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the specs of the Bellroy Classic backpack. Spec number one, what color options does it come in? The answer, too many to count. Let me read some of them off for you. We've got black, we've got charcoal, ink blue, marine blue, forest, olive, red earth, okra, neon cabernet, and lunar. That sounds mysterious. I went with the classic look, which is the ink blue. But while there are a ton of color options, there's only one size, and all of the Bellroy Classic backpacks are 20 liters, which in my opinion is a perfect size for an everyday carry. The weight is one pound, 10 ounces. And for the price, it's actually gonna vary based on the color that you get because different colors are actually made with different materials. And some materials are a little cheaper, some are a little more expensive. So on the lower end, this backpack can cost 90 US dollars. That's the version that I got here. But on the higher end, it can cost as much as 150 US dollars. Okay, up next, let's chat about the style of this bad boy because I think Bellroy's got some really cool style. Like it's got a lot of style points going for it. Bellroy has a very classy and unique aesthetic. These are not super modern type looking backpacks. They've got like an old school like pack feel to them, which some people really dig. I'll be honest, it's not my personal favorite type of style. I usually like something more like air, which is more like modern and sort of sleek looking. But if you like that sort of classy vibe, then Bellroy is going to be right up your path. They're definitely urban backpacks. Bellroy advertises this as a laptop and college bag. So whether you're at university or just strolling through the streets of your city, this is an awesome companion to take with you. Next up, let's talk about materials. Now, the main exterior material is uh, like a woven polyester, and it's got a really coarse feel to it, almost like what, Tav? Denim. Denim, feels like jeans. And a fun fact about this material is that it's made from 100% uh, recycled bottles and materials and things of that nature, so it's very eco-friendly which is always appreciated, Bellroy. The materials are also water resistant, but not waterproof, so keep that in mind. As for the interior materials, they are also fantastic. Actually, I much prefer the interior materials to the exterior materials. The exterior materials are nice, but these interior materials are fantastic. I mean, it's really simple, guys. If they're elastic and they're silky and smooth and durable, then Aaron's a happy camper. And right now, Aaron is a happy camper because these materials are tremendous. That also extends to the zippers. These are all YKK zippers. Got some chunky zippers there. We'll talk about those in a minute. And then for the hardware, it's quite cool because we've got like some of the buckles are made of metal when most buckles on backpacks are made with plastic. So this kind of gives it a premium feel. And then you have like uh, like magnets like this, little uh, sternum strap magnet system. This is premium, gives the backpack an amazing feel, amazing user experience, nice hardware. Let's talk about the comfort of the Bellroy Classic Backpack because while I might seem enthusiastic about the Bellroy Classic Backpack, the first thing that I'm gonna criticize about the Bellroy Classic Backpack is its comfort. I'm not gonna say that it's uncomfortable. It just kinda of seems a little weak sauce for what they've done here. And it's just not like a great feel to it. We'll get into the nitty gritty of why when we start talking about the back section, I break these down one by one, but really comfort comes down to two things. You got the shoulder straps and the back panel. And I don't really like either. They're, they're, they're okay. They're just not like great. In a back panel, I like it to be strong. You know, it's like, I'm a back panel. I'm here to protect your back. There's ventilation, you know, but this this really doesn't give you any of that. It's just kind of got like a little little beer belly right there, you know, like he's just had a cu couple too many Heinekens to start the day. But then again, you kind of get what you pay for it. For a 90 US dollar backpack, it's not terrible, but like we'll get a bit more detail about this later on, but overall comfort, low average. Let's talk about the front of the Bellroy Classic backpack. I love the style, very minimal. And one of the best parts about Bellroy's aesthetics is the way that they have like these leather tabs right here. And I think that the way the blue clashes with the tan on this pack looks classy as First pocket to talk about is what they refer to as as a hidden pocket. And it probably is hidden because you didn't even know it was there. Et voila, quick access pocket right there. I'm a huge fan of this pocket. In here we have 
our key holder and enough space to maybe store a phone, maybe a wallet, maybe a spare coin. Oops. I'm a huge fan of this pocket for a few reasons. One, because of its subtlety, but two, because of its accessibility. You're walking down the university. You're like, oh, hey Mark, what's up? I gotta check my phone, see what's happening on the IG, right? So you just slide this around, boom, boom. Amazing functionality with this pocket, super ease of use. I'm just a big fan. Same thing with the keys. Not my favorite key solution, but it's just easy to kind of pop off, take off, you know, pop it in, pop a do, pop a dons. So yeah, strong start with the front with that pocket. So yeah, I guess to clarify then, Tab was confused. There's only a pocket on one side. You do not get two pockets, just one. Okay, now let's talk about the middle section. A bit more to unpack here. <laughs> So stupid. All right, so let's get into the main compartment. Now, another point of criticism that I have for this backpack is the way that you have this lining for the main zipper, okay? So they're like, hey, the zipper doesn't look that great because we didn't want to make it PU coded because we're cheap, probably. So instead, we're going to cover it with this little like flappy which is all fine and dandy. It does kind of look all right, you know, from a distance, but unfortunately it compromises the functionality of opening this guy, you know, cause this thing's like flopping over and you're trying to open this and it can really be annoying. You'll learn how to deal with it, but like it never is a perfectly seamless experience. Getting inside, we have our 20 liters. I've reviewed a lot of 20 liter backpacks. This feels like it's exactly 20 liters. One really interesting thing about this backpack. Notice on the sides, no water bottle holder. They do the water bottle holder in the inside of the pack. Some people are going to loathe this. Other people like me won't really mind it. And like, I'm not like sipping on my water bottle like every 10 seconds. Like I can put it in there and then grab it when I need it. And it's kind of cool. I quite like it. The materials are great. Like I said, uh, these pockets are really silky and smoothy. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get inside. Really nice zip experience. And this guy actually runs pretty deep. This pocket goes right about down into there. So I got, this is like my health pocket. I got some napkins and some tissues and my hand sanitizer. Big fan of this pocket. Super easy to use. Great materials. Just really great. As for that water bottle pocket let's just actually examine that real fast so this is an 18 ounce water bottle and as you can see it fits with a ton of room to spare those thirsty for oh my god easy fit so this can fit up to a one liter bottle no problem like i said sides no water bottle holders just nice and sleek and i just love that man it's really cool this is a minimalist pack this is a minimalist experience on the top we've got uh sunglasses quick access pocket throw the pods in there throw the shades in there really nice material not going to scratch your shades so if you got an expensive pair of sunglasses there's not a lot of room in there so it seems a little bit tight but at least it shouldn't scratch anything great pocket <laughs> and i can't emphasize this enough thank you tab because a lot of times backpack companies are going to put their little key right there this little leash right here and like accessing that is a nightmare versus the beauty of this little side compartment keys are right there thank you belroy Now let's talk about the back of the Bellroy Classic backpack. We'll start with the comfort. There's not a lot of padding on this and I don't need a lot of padding on my everyday carry because you're not carrying usually like a ton of stuff, especially with a 20 liter, but it's just kind of like floopy and not firm and you know, it's well within the price range, but it makes it feel like less of a premium backpack. Same thing with the shoulder straps. They just don't feel like, they kind of just feel a little cheap. That's it, just, just a little cheap. Moving on down, we have these sternum straps here, which are removable. An interesting system, kind of like got these little clip guys, but they work really effectively. Pretty sweet. These are going to connect the sternum strap, which is in fact a mother magnet. Magnets are sweet. Yeah, this is a good magnet too. This sort of magnetic sternum strap is a little bit ubiquitous in the backpack world. More and more backpacks are adapting it. And I think it's great. I love it because it's just fun because magnets are fun. Unfortunately, the sternum strap does not have a dangle holder right here. I would prefer something just to pop that right there to keep this dangle in place, but this is gonna be flying all over the place. Moving down the straps, we've got a little bit more branding here. Yet again, these little tasteful, subtle leather tabs. I just think they're, and then the metal hardware right here. And then thankfully we do have some dangle stoppers at the bottom to keep this dangle in place. Know your place. Moving on, we've got a top handle right here, which is quite comfortable. And yet again, I love the look. We got all these leather tidbits happening right here and the, the handle's got a nice feel to it. It's not like super padded, so you wouldn't think that it's gonna be like comfy and cozy, but the leather just feels really nice. I like this handle a lot. And then finally, let's chat about the tech compartment. Only half access, not even, I'm not even sure how to explain this access, but this is all you get, okay? I'm the Bellroy. 
And this is all you get. This is a 13 inch MacBook Pro. So as you can see, it slides in super easy, no problem. These materials feel fantastic. So you're gonna feel like your laptop is safe and secure and like in its own beautiful little palace. Tab, let's see if it fits your laptop. I think it fits my laptop. <laughs> we haven't found a backpack yet that can handle Tab's 17 foot massive <laughs> This is where all the magic happens. Let's see. My Really? Holy <laughs> sh**. This is a 20 liter. Wow. 20 liter that fits it. That's so awesome. Dude, I was like- Really comfortably too. Like there's room to spare. That's amazing. So hey, this is great to know. If you carry a big ass laptop, then the Bellroy Classic can handle it. This is the best day of Tab's life. He's so excited. Moving on with the back tech section, we also have another sort of elasticy, silky uh, pocket back here. I'm kind of using this for like a, my tech stuff. So I've got, you know, some spare cash. I've got batteries. I've got my little e-cig set up. I've got some wires, you know, so this is kind of acting like a throw all for all my tech gear. And it's great because because of the materials, it really expands. So if you don't put a lot of stuff in there, it's nice and subtle. But if you do, like it really just kind of, it can fit a lot in there. Also worth noting, remember we said these zippers are not water coated here, but the tech compartment is PU coated. That means that it's water resistant, which is important. Your laptop's in there, obviously. Laptops and water, they don't get along. They don't like each other. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Bellroy Classic backpack. Overall pro number one is I'm gonna say kind of the smart look. I just think that if there was a word to describe how this backpack looks, it's just smart, dude. Which is not gonna be for everyone. It's not my cup of tea necessarily, but I can acknowledge that it looks great. Pro number two is going to be the actual decent price range. This backpack is sort of like an in-betweener. It's not as cheap as a Jan Sport. It's not as pricey as like an Air or a Nomatic. So it comes in at 90 US dollars at a much more accessible price range. And pro number three is, I gotta tell you, dude, I am in love with this pocket. I use this backpack for a week. The ability to just swing it over, unzip, grab what you need, rezip, swing it back, done. I mean, that is functionality to the next level. I love it. But, 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 let's chat about some cons with the Bellroy Classic backpack. Con number one is, you know what I'm talking about is gonna be the comfort. It's not that it's terrible. It just doesn't feel premium. It's just not awesome. I feel like they could have put a little bit more time and attention into this back panel to give it just like a more premium feel. Con number two is accessing the main compartment can be a you're gonna have to edit that tab because that's a curse word. Tab knows curse words in all languages. So like, if you can get the right angle, it's okay. But if you're like, you're just kind of walking around and you want to just unzip this thing, like these, they, these guys, it's just right on that corner. They get caught, okay? It's not terrible. You just got to kind of know to follow the line, but it irks me and I don't like to be irked. And con number three is that while I accept it is a minimalist backpack, I could have used maybe like one or two more pockets. I don't need like the nomadic, like 37 bajillion pockets. That's not what this guy is. But sometimes I just wish that there was like one or two more storage options. Like my phone's going here. Maybe if there was just like one little spot in the back to hide the wallet or maybe like one more interior pocket. This bag is very basic. So if you're looking for a lot more pockets and storage options, seek elsewhere. They would have done one here here and one there that would have been pretty tight. So with all the pros and all the cons taken into consideration, we uh, think that the Bellroy Classic Backpack, three star bag. It's really good. It's great for the price range. You're going to get a ton of value out of it. Super awesome look. Just missing some of the more premium features that I typically like on my backpacks. But still, quality pack. Let's talk about whether or not this pack is for you. This backpack is gonna be for you. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, like Bellroy advertises their stuff for college and university students, and it's got that college look, you know? It's like, I'm gonna buy this backpack and then ace my new literature course with it. Actually, since I've purchased this backpack, I think that I've grown increasingly smarter. That's, that's the effect that this design sort of has on you. So if you're going to college and you're looking for a simple sort of everyday carry, great option. This bag is also for you if you're looking for a super minimalist backpack. This could be one of the most minimalist backpacks I've ever reviewed. There's literally, how many pockets? You have pocket here, pocket inside there, pocket inside there, four pockets, and two compartments, and that's it. That's it, minimalist everyday carry, right? Let me tell you about who this backpack is not for. 
This is not the everyday carry for you if you are looking for something sleeker. This backpack has a great look to it, but it's definitely not a sleek and modern sort of a look. It's more like fun and classy. If you're in the market for a sleek and modern looking everyday carry, check the links below. I got you. This is also not the EDC for you if you carry a ton of tech gear. Yes, the laptop compartment is solid and it's good and you've got protection there and it's waterproof and you got the tech little pocket at the top, this guy. But at the end of the day, you're going to be limited with the amount of tech gear that you can carry with this and that you can organize with this. And I just think that there's better tech backpacks on the market. If you're looking for one of those, check the links below. This is also not the everyday carry for you if you like to do a bit of adventuring. This is definitely an urban backpack, very durable. I mean, the, this denim polyester, this is very durable, but it's not meant for hiking. It's not meant for the great outdoors. So if you're looking for an everyday carry that can do a little bit of city and do a little bit of the outdoor stuff as well, check the links below. Okay guys, we are finished. If you're watching this review because you already own this backpack, please let us know in the comments below what you think about it. Let's help each other out here at Nomads Nation. We're trying to make the most badass community of backpack lovers in the world. So let us know what you think in the comments below. If you are still here, you found this review helpful, and two, you clearly like backpacks. Hit the little subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified anytime a new review of ours goes live. The right pack for the right back. Goodbye.